Okay everyone, this video is to talk through how we have set up our uh, connected system, our Wi-Fi integrated system so we can both work from the RV while we're on the road. So lots of research went into this uh, to get the right unit because we need, we need connectivity all the time Monday through Friday and plus we like to stream videos and things like that. So this handsome man right here did all the research. I did nothing. Um, so we're gonna kind of walk you through what we have set up. So we chose to go with the PepLink system um, and we got a chance to pilot it for a few months before we had it permanently installed. It works really good. And we ended up and we have a Winnebago 3442T, right? So we ended up trying to find the best spot for it, which ended up being right here in the pantry. Um, and we have it wired uh, to our antenna on the roof um, that we had people wire it for us and install it here. Um, just a chick observation, this thing gets really hot it's very warm because it's always working and what it does is it tries to find the best connectivity between all the cellular providers and then you can have a package between your Verizon, your AT&T and your T-Mobile and it can also hook into the campground Wi-Fi system so it's constantly looking for the best signal um, for uh, your needs. Um, and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna have John show you kind of what the dashboard looks like on his computer when he, we get to a spot. He can kind of show you um, the web interface he looks at. So, so you want to walk him through what they do there? So this shows one of the two cellular modems. Cellular one is one of the modems that's connected to T-Mobile. Cellular two is currently connected to Verizon. We also have an AT&T SIM in slot two in the event Verizon is a weak signal and AT&T is stronger. And then to connect to the campground Wi-Fi, it's Wi-Fi WAN and we are connected to this particular KOA. So what we also do is utilize something called Speed Fusion, which essentially takes all three of the connections, our WAN connection, if we had one, our cellular one connection, our cellular two connection, our Wi-Fi WAN, and it combines all of those into one stream, and that allows us to have the high-speed internet that we need on the road with the most redundancy. So what are some tips that we've learned thus far about uh, utilizing this system? Let's talk about, uh, we just left Mount Rushmore which had very little uh, cellular connectivity Correct. Um, and hit or miss Wi-Fi connectivity at the park. Correct. So what have we learned from that situation? <laughs> 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 that if you're working from home, what? Uh, you need connectivity. <laughs> so, you know, if you're going to be working from your rig, you've got to make sure you're uh, in a place that has cellular connectivity and decent Wi-Fi. So do your research on the RV parks, yes. making sure that they do have Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity in the region. Uh, luckily for us, we chose to spend the weekend in Mount Rushmore, so no big deal because we were there just enjoying the scenery and we weren't working over the weekend. So it wasn't a big deal for us, but if that had happened during the week, that would have been a huge problem for us. So uh, you gotta do your homework on where you're gonna stay. Um, and you know, maybe even call ahead and ask about cellular connectivity at the RV park. Yeah, um, because this is a trifecta, right? It's Wi-Fi, it's three different cellular networks coming together to, uh, to provide optimal connectivity. Um, can you tell them a little bit about the cost of this system? So, in, in its entirety, including the modem, the, the cellular modems, the PEP Link Max Pro 
duo, which is what this is, that plus the antenna, the Parsecki 7-in-1 antenna on top, which has four cellular connections, um, two Wi-Fi connections, and one GPS connection. Between all of those devices, it ran us in the neighborhood of $1,500. And then on top of that, you had to have the cellular service from T-Mobile, which is a SIM and it's a monthly fee. Um, for T-Mobile, we have 800 gigs per month for $150 a month. We also have Verizon's 300 gigs a month for $150 a month. And then we have AT&T, which is um, $50 a month for 100 gigs for a month. And we combine all of those, mesh them in with the camp's Wi-Fi, and that allows us to have our connectivity from a redundancy perspective. Did that include how much it took to install our router and get the the services that we used a local service in Texas called RV Specialists, They're which are awesome. Can I just yes. put out a shout out of how awesome RV Specialist is? Um, what was the service charge you recall for getting that installed? Probably no. several hundred bucks. Yeah, it was a few hundred. Um, so just keep that in mind. We're, we uh, we would love feedback. If anybody has pep links and tips and tricks that they could share with us, this is just a start for us. We've got a long ways to go. We welcome feedback. We, we're not saying we're experts, but this is what we've got going. So far, it's been working very well, um, but we welcome ideas and little tips that you guys can give us to even further optimize our setup. But so far, so good. Two thumbs up. Um, we'll let you know in a few months if that's the case or not, but that's what we've got so far. Thanks for joining.